Every trading manual or instruction insists that a trading strategy is necessary for successful trading. First of all, when you select your forex strategy, you gain greater clarity of the trading process which helps minimize trading risks. Now, profitable forex strategy is an instruction. A trader faces high risks without using any system or plan. If the trader follows it strictly, he or she will avoid many mistakes. Now, the market is hard to predict and it often results in trading mistakes. Your forex strategy will tell you what you should do in various changeable market conditions. Your trading strategy should be suited for any situation. You won't try to guess when to enter or exit a trade. Now, your trading strategy will prompt you when you need to enter or exit the market. It does not mean that even the best forex trading strategy can be changed, but it mustn't contain any unjustified element. On the show today, we'll focus on profitable forex trading and what you need to know. Welcome to Business Insight and Plus TV Africa. I am Justin Akadone. Now, starting in the forex market often results in a life cycle that involves diving in headfirst, or giving up or taking a step back to do more research and open a demo account to practice. From there, new traders may feel more confident to open another live account, experience more success, break even or turn a profit. That is why it is important to build a framework for trading in the forex market. In a constantly shifting terrain of forex trading, Lamy de Sikira, popularly known as Kira Forex, emerges as a luminary figure with a mindset to change the world. Now, her multifaceted career encompasses roles as a forex trader, author, mentor and coach. Now, Kira Forex's unwavering dedication to financial markets, coupled with a profound understanding of the global economy, sets her apart as a true industry maven. Now, beyond her prowess in forex trading, Kira Forex is a dynamic entrepreneur with diverse business interests, including ventures in foreign exchange markets, real estate development, logistics, and fintech. She joins me now for more discussion on Forex trading. Many thanks for joining me on Business Insights. All right, there's a whole lot to talk uh, when we talk about Forex because uh, Nigerians are actually looking for best ways to keep going at a time where the country's economy is actually stifling practically everyone. So let's take it a step-by-step -step approach. Let's call it like Forex 101, if you may. Yeah. So if I am interested in getting into Forex, What's the first thing I should even be thinking of? All right. Um, the first thing is to know what Forex is. You need to understand how the Forex market works. You need to understand what is currency. Mm. And then you also need to understand what happens in different countries like geopolitical and economic factors that affect a country. Mm. So okay. these are some of the few things you need to know before you venture into forex trading. Okay, but uh, okay, so I need to understand what the currency is, so and I need to understand how it works and volatility. But then, is forex trading for just um, an all-commerce affair, or does it really uh, involve some, you know, in-depth trading, or is it something you could just do after a short time, really? All right, so forex trading can be done by everybody. Uh, if you can read and write at least you can also do what forex trading because in everyday life we do what we call forex trading even at the black market if you go there to exchange money mm. you are basically doing what we call forex trading if you are traveling from one country to another when you change your currency into that country's currency mm. you are basically doing what we call forex trading Okay, in my head, I'm thinking that's like I'm going to Naboki to exchange your dollar for Naira, but I never knew that's uh, still Forex because I know Forex is foreign exchange, but then I thought it's something that, uh, because most times people talk about Forex, I see lots of lines, which I really yeah. don't understand. So, <laughs> but then, uh, let's break it down step by step okay. and um, uh, trying to understand the psychology of trading. So you said uh, it's basically what we do on a daily basis, you know, when we exchange um, currency for another currency. But then people do it as a... Uh, uh, a way of making income, not just uh, because they need um, another currency for some reason, but they do it as like a venture. All right, so um, what I just talked about is just a layman's understanding of hope for its trading. Okay. But what we actually do is that we speculate on the charts. Mm. That is what we do. Then we take advantage of the fluctuation in the exchange rate. Mm. So we buy at a discount and sell at premium by studying the charts. 
let's take it one step other. So there is a chart. Yeah. I also talked about speculation, yeah. buying at discount and selling <laughs> at the premium. So break it all down to us. <laughs> all right. So basically what that means is that you study the chart of one country against another. So when it comes to forest trading, we have something we call currency pairs. Okay. So we have major currency pairs, we have minor, we have exotic pairs. But the major currency pairs has high volatility. Mm. These are currency pairs that are being um, attached to the USD. So assuming we are studying the USD against the Japanese yen, mm. and we realize that the Japanese yen is weak mm. against the USD, mm. then we need to sell right hmm. and then if the usd is stronger than the japanese yen then we need to buy the usd okay. so basically that is what we do okay. now when we realize that the usd is weak hmm. then it means we also sell the usd okay. and then buy the japanese yen so invariably what i can get from all that you have said so far is that when your currency is weak that's when you sell yeah okay so when it's actually uh, gaining per se that's when you buy yeah Okay, for instance, right now, let me just break it down to what's ha happening in the Forex uh, market in Nigeria, where uh, the currency has actually hit uh, an all-time low, per se, you know, exchanging for the dollar at over 1,005, 1,006. So if you were to be in Nigeria, you need to trade. So what are the basis, really? Are you, tr are you supposed to be trading in the yen or in the dollars or what exactly? Okay, so one thing about the, let's say the Nigeria Naira mm. and let's say the Ghana CDs is that these currency pairs do not have high volatility. Okay. So we usually trade currency pairs that have high volatility like the JPY, the Japanese yen, yeah, the no, pound okay. JPY, JP, the okay. USD mm. and the Canadian dollar. Okay. Yeah, so we do not really trade the okay. um, naira okay so it's uh, the the G, the gbp the yens and the dollars that are um, really being traded on when we talk about forex really yes so okay. these are the the major currency pairs that we trade on the charts okay i know there's a bit of psychology of trading per se let's talk about mastering your mind when we talk of forex now how can traders overcome common emotional biases like fear greed and overconfidence all right you know um everything about forex trading is psychology so psychology plays 90 percent when it comes to yeah. forest trading and when we talk about psychology we are talking about your emotions your reactions when you place a trade as to whether you are in profit or you are in a loss how you react you know there are people when they place a trade and they make money yeah. they over rejoice mm. forgetting that they need to take profit and leave the market quickly they over rejoice forget themselves and later lose whatever profit they made okay. and we also have people when they lose money mm. they they it affects them emotionally mm. so for you to be able to overcome all these things you need to master your skills you need to understand how the market works when you make profit you need to exit quickly that is why in forest trading we have something we call take profit and stop loss so when you say to take profit it is telling you that i've reached the maximum of the day and i need to leave and we should also understand that when it comes to forex trading there are losses there are people who venture into forex trading once they lose part of their money they think forex is not for them but mm. it doesn't work like that even in every business there are losses so once we accept that there are losses then everything becomes okay okay so what is the importance of developing a trading journal and tracking performance Right, so the importance of doing that is that uh, it gives you an edge. That is, you know how much you are risking per day, you know your risk to reward as well, and it also guides you to be disciplined. Yeah, because this is, th we are talking about money here, and we know every human being is a bit greedy when it comes to money because we always want more. Yeah. That is when people end up losing money. So when you have a plan that guides you that at the end of the day, I want to risk only 2% of my account. I want to make 5% of my account. There you go according to that. Okay, so, so I haven't said that now. So if you uh, understand uh, biases, uh, greed and overconfidence and you have a tracking journal and tracking, you're tracking your performance, what next should you be mindful of? Um, I Talk think about building a disciplined trading routine and managing stress. How does that really work? Um, building a trading routine and managing, I think it all comes to the Together. trading plan. Okay. Yeah. It can all be found in the trading plan. Okay. So, so, so really, uh, let's take it another step further. So, for instance, I'm a novice. I just have heard that uh, Forex is the end thing and it's something that could be very profitable and I really want to do it so how long would it take me to be 
a master in it uh, to the extent that I can start trading all by myself and also know how to speculate uh, to discount and to premium as it were. Okay, so learning how to trade is just like any school. Let's compare the medical school with forex trading. You mm. go to a medical school for seven years because before you become mm. a professional doctor. Just like for um, it's just the same as forex trading. You mm. need to be trained, coached, and mentored. Uh, we have people who take three years to understand the forex market. We three have years. people, yes, three years. So it's just a school. You move from one stage to another. You move from one stage to another till you become profitable and a professional. So a stage where they can be profitable. <laughs> you can, but it depends on your level of understanding. You know, okay. we have people who can easily grasp very easily. and understand yes. very quickly. For okay. me, myself, it took me How long did it almost take three and a half years to be profitable. Yeah, oh, and wow. it also depends on your consistency and discipline. If you are not consistent, we, we forest traders, we always say that the market is the best mentor. So mm. the market to teach you how to be profitable. So you always need to stick with it. At least you spend like two or three hours with the charts each and every day. That's how you become consistent. Okay. Before we talk about um, identifying potential trading opportunities, I'm just thinking in my head, are there best times in the year based on your experience and uh, what you've been doing in Forex and the trading and all the lot? Are there best times in a particular year? Maybe there's a season that you feel that it's when people are advised to really trade. All right, the forex market is open 24 over 7. That is every day. Okay. But what happens is that um, we, the retail traders, we do not really have that much capital. When you say so, retail traders, what does that mean? Uh, like um, somebody like me, hmm. and let's say this um, some small, small banks, okay. maybe you that you have your own capital you want to trade with, mm. we are the retail traders. Okay. Because when it comes to the forest market, we have different players, we have the central bank, we have the brokers. These are people who have high uh, liquidity, like they have okay, cash. Sticks. Yeah. yeah. So we, the retail traders, because we don't have direct access to the forest market, mm. we go through a uh, middleman we call the brokers. So the brokers give us access to the forex market. Okay. Now, these brokers are also human beings. It gets mm. to a point, they also need to go to break, Easter breaks, um, Christmas breaks, and, and other stuff. So when it gets to that time, um, the liquidity in the market becomes very low. Mm. That is especially around December, even though the market is open 24 over 7. Mm. But when it gets to that point, they, they go on holidays, they go on break, so there is no much liquidity. And even like the central banks and other stuff, they yeah. also go on break. So there is no much liquidity in the market around December, January, February. Okay. But uh, from somewhere around March going, mm. there is high liquidity. So what is the role of risk management in implementing successful trading strategies? All right, so when we talk about risk management, um, this is how I always explain it, all right? So when you're entering into the forex market, you know this is how much you are risking per trade. That is what makes you a trader. So I always say that, show me a good trader and I'll show you a risk manager, all right? So if I'm entering into a market and I'm telling the market that at the end of the day, I'm risking 2% of my account, if at the end of the day, that is what is, is or if I lose 2% of my account, mm -hmm. I know that is what I've given out. But then if I say my reward is 2 is to 5 two is to five, and at the end of the day, I make 5% of um, the rigs, then that makes me a good rigs manager. Okay, so uh, once you've identified them, this potential risk, and you're able to manage them, uh, is there a way you can develop a consistent trading routine and adapt uh, strategies to changing market conditions? Are there best ways to doing this? Yeah, so one of the ways is uh, you need to study like i said earlier you mm. need to study economic factors and also geopolitical events because we are trading one country against another so mm. whatever happened in that country um positively or negatively affects the currency pay so once you know what is happening then you can now bring that to the chart okay so fine at a point uh specifically in nigeria now where people have um, economic issues uh the economy is not really uh 
well to do as it were and uh, people are trying to even manage the little that they have just how little can you really invest you know if you really want to start out in forex trading so i was saying that you can also trade on people's account that is for people who don't really have time to trade because mm. trading forex actually takes time you need to study the charts know the movements where the market is going find out your edges your entry before you enter a trade so people we have people who don't really have time even though they have the cash. Mm. Yeah, so you can also do that and make money. You can also provide signals and make money. Mm. So we have, you can also create educative content, put on YouTube and also make money. So when it comes to forex trading, we have different sources of cash flow, not just a single source of cash flow. Okay, so let's talk about uh, you, Kira, for instance. Uh, you know, I'm sure you have opportunities that you present out there for people. How often do you do that? And um, do you do... Uh, educational uh, videos or trainings uh, from time to time just uh, run it by us yes I do one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching I also do online coaching and private coaching then I also manage funds for people from all across the world and I also provide signals mm. right I also provide content on my YouTube channel Kira Forex on YouTube okay so as we round off now let's uh, get your candid advice to people who have actually uh, been involved in forex trading and for some reason or the other they have not been able to reap all of the fruit and they are a bit discouraged what would your advice be for them straight off the camera <laughs> all right so what I would like to say is that there is nothing that comes easy in this world even in marriage, there are difficulties. The same thing happens in forex trading. If you want to be profitable, you just need to be consistent, disciplined, and go according to your plan, and you will get there. If you give up now, I don't think it's an option. All right, thank you so much. I must say a very big thank you to you for all of the wonderful insight that you have provided for you know, beginners and the people who are actually trading. And uh, no matter the volatility, at least that there's still light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. We must say a very big thank you to you, uh, Sikira, for your time and all of the wonderful insights you have provided for beginners and, of course, those who have been trading over time. We do appreciate your time. All right, my guest has been Sikira Lamy, the CEO of Kira Forex Trading Academy, and we have been talking about Forex Trading and all that you need to do. My name is Justin Akademi. Keep it a date, same time, next time. Bye for now.